let's say you can open a Hall of Fame for journeyman. Dang. You get three, you get to induct three guys. Who are your votes? Only one that came to mind was uh, the drunken master. Emmanuel Augustus. Emmanuel Augustus. You got two more First votes. First one that came to mind. Journeyman. Oh, you got to put Gay Rosado in there. Wait, wait. So as a fighter, you won't, they won't t find it as disrespect. So does a journeyman, is that's the guy that couldn't win a world title? Because if you won a world title, you're a former champion, no matter how bad you drop. I don't, I don't even know. Like, to me, a journeyman is just somebody who, who got in the ring and fought everybody, win, lose, or draw, but has been in the ring with everybody has put on, like, just exciting performances. Whether he won or lost, you wanted to see him win, which is why Gabe just came to mind. Chris Ariola? You wanted to see him fight. Mm. Chris okay. Ariola? Yeah. yeah, Chris Ariola I would say, always gave the fans good Since fights. you put it that way, see, because... You know, journeyman, not for me, I didn't think of it that way. I thought of it just like, you know, those fighters that they're here. They're old, like a chop chop. Uh -huh. Like a chop chop. You got to put you chop know, chop in I don't even want to say Salito because, again, he became a world champion. Uh -huh. But, you know, it's just like those losses, the grits, the people that are there, yeah. like a Gabe, no yeah. matter how many times boxing tell them no, right. they keep trying. They keep, That's what I thought. But again, that's why I asked you because. I don't want to call a Ray Beltron a journeyman and he won a world he title. He did win a world title. So that makes you a former world champion. I don't, sure. you know. Well, I think you 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 still, you can become a journeyman if you fight, you happen to lose that belt, but then you just keep fighting. Win, lose, or draw, you're still fighting and you're still relevant. I think, to me, a journeyman is a fighter who's relevant. So Chisora is a journeyman. Chisora is a journeyman, yeah. In my mind, and yeah. I don't really know. And he's on, honestly, he's like borderline gatekeeper. Depending what heavyweight you put in with Chisora, he might get a title shot after that if he beats Chisora properly. I mean, then I mean gatekeeper. How is that any different from a journeyman? Well, because the gatekeeper holds the keys to the title shot. So if they fight you, they end up in a Shakur fight. Hypothetically, like uh, you know, uh Jermaine Ortiz, right? He's fighting. A gatekeeper in Loma. Loma don't got a belt, but if he beat Loma, man, Devin got to fight. Hold him. up, you just said Loma is a gatekeeper? Hell no. I thought gatekeeper was like nah, motherfuckers. Man. Like to me, a gatekeeper is like a fighter that got a name. Uh huh. But he done. Right? No, 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 Zito no, Lopez? no. Nah. That's journeyman. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gatekeeper, okay. listen to me. Believe me, guys. Gatekeeper <laughs> holds the key to your title shot. Once you beat him, let me Google this shit. Go for it. Damn, what was it? Once you beat that gatekeeper, you get a title shot. Think about it. Has Boots fought a gatekeeper yet? Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, absolutely. And why you think they talking Wilder versus Ruiz for the belt? Yeah, I'm no. telling you. No, Luis. Right. You don't think no. Luis are in that in that no. specific situation? It was, it's a thing of that's the next biggest fight for PBC in the heavyweight division. All right. What about this? If Johnny Rice comes and fights Luis Ortiz, you don't, think, you don't think a title fight is next for Johnny? No. What? Come on, man. What? And you mean like in Johnny's mean next in fight five? is against I mean, Luis Ortiz in, 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 in his next fight? If Johnny Rice fights all Luis right, Ortiz all right, next. All right, all right. Hold on now. Then he got one. I got it. This is coming from Encyclo uh, from Wikipedia, so you know the shit's legit. Yeah, you mean I any hate human. It, by the way. No, huh? Wikipedia. I hate it. No, Wikipedia I only means any human can or, change can that. Can I say us anymore? Talk about so, fighting. It says, in boxing, a gatekeeper is a skillful and a well-regarded fighter, mm -hmm. but one who does not have the <laughs> popularity or brilliance of a title contender. They are considered to be a cut above most journeymen. Mm. Which is right, but I don't like the terminology. He's not a dude not good enough because, again, a gatekeeper... You know, he could become a world champion. He could have been a former world champion, but he holds that. Like, if right now, Keith Thurman's a gatekeeper. That's why he's telling you in the media, I'm not. And that's why Boots wants to fight him, because after Boots beats Keith, there's no backward step. You don't fight Virgil. You fight Crawford or Earl for the belt, or you fight for a vacant belt. That's a gatekeeper. All right. So Obviously, Keith doesn't want to Somebody in the said this one. Former world champ, Bam Bam Rios. Brandon, Bam Bam. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, you mean into the uh, Journey Fame, yeah. Journey Mid Hall of Fame? Absolutely. I love Rios. His biggest knock was the weight, man. If he could have been 
at 135, his entire career, maybe him and Broner would have had a trilogy. Mm. 